Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. I am back with another video, back with another Valentine's set. I already know what time it is. We're still in the Valentine's season, and we're going to be doing a Valentine's set today. So, um, I wanted to do this thing where I did like two stiletto nails in the middle, where it looked like a little heart or whatever. So, anyways, the products that I'll be using today are Nail Houses Crystal Clear, and then just this cover pink from um Mia Secret you guys have been asking about it's so funny because a couple of y'all have been asking like where is the Mia Secret's cover pink where is it where is it I haven't seen it in a while it's just because I ran out a while back and I never ordered it again but um and I've been actually loving Nail House's new covers lately so I've been obsessed with those and I've been using those every video as you guys know and I haven't used this however I did order it again I have it back now and I will be using it you guys will be seeing it so I use it in this video as well as like two videos like coming up Sorry, y'all. That was a mouthful. I swear, y'all would swear that I have, like, ADHD or something, but I don't. I just talk super fast, and I can't help it. Um, so I'm sorry, but not really sorry. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, y'all, for the color of these nails, I'm going to be painting some gel polish over top, but we'll get there when we get there. Um, right now, I am using, as always, Nail Houses size 16 Kalinske brush, as well as their monomer um and their 3xl square tips i just kind of cut those two stilettos in the middle off camera and just shape them um and you guys can use my code portia for nail house to get a discount on your orders and as you guys may or may not know nail houses um new valentine collection is still in stock a lot of them are still in stock i think there's only like one that's not in stock anymore however all the rest of them are still in stock so um y'all better go grab those glitters before they are gone um they're all very beautiful. If you guys didn't see me swatch them, I did live like uh, maybe a week or two ago. Something like that. And you guys can find the video available on my live tab um, on my channel. You can find the live there while I swatch all of the colors. But they're all very beautiful. And I do recommend them. Also, the ones that I have in that video and the ones that I just showed on the screen, they're the same ones. Um, they aren't the full Valentine collection from Nail House. They are just some of them. They have a bunch more that are very beautiful colors. Some that are old that um, they came out with a couple years ago that I still have. Um, but these are some of the new ones here. But anyways, go check out the glitters and snatch up some while you can before they're all gone. Um... So that y'all can make some cute Valentine nails with me. And of course, I'm going to leave the link to... Well, the link to their site is always in the description below for anyone interested. Um, also, thank every single one of y'all who used my code. Y'all showed out using my code to make y'all purchases. I know some of y'all have been forgetting because I've been seeing y'all say y'all forgot to use my code, but it happens. But um, thank everyone who used my code, those who will use the code. Thank y'all so very much. So I wanted to point out, because some of y'all may be wondering, that the glove that I have on is a Melody Susie, like, UV ray protection glove. Um, I have two of them. I got them from Amazon. Um, I actually will link them in my Amazon storefront for you guys. Um, I've been wanting to get these gloves for a while now. Like, they've just been sitting in my cart, like, forever. Kind of, like, down in my cart where I didn't see them. But, um, anyway, I said that to say that the other week I was on, well, my sister, she had sent me this post from the shade room and I don't follow them because I don't like drama. However, there was this post they had posted and basically it was just saying, I'll probably pop it up on the screen. Basically, they were just saying like um, how bad the UV rays and the LED lamps or our LED lamps are and stuff. And I'm aware of that. Like I'm not oblivious to it. However, like I just kind of feel like... Um, I don't know, maybe I just kind of felt like the way it was kind of like broadcasted was a little extreme and like, because there's so many different things in this world that's bad for us and it's funny that they wanted to point out that. And I'm not saying like the shade room, I'm talking about like just that in general. And I kind of read the article and they were saying like something about it being our hands being in the lamp for 20 minutes at a time and I kind of just commented, it was like, well, I kind of just put in my two cents or whatever and um... I don't know make a long story short there's so many different things in this world that it's bad for us like we're basically all doomed it's like damn if we do damn if we don't and i don't mean to curse here but um 
yeah so it's like yeah but anyway uh like i said i am aware that it's not so good for us to have our hands in that lamp all the time because it is like um and then it's not so much uv is led but anyway um i know too much or anything is not good for us i i do have my hands in a lamp but like often because i do nails a lot but i don't just be having them sitting in there but anyway anyway um that post reminded me to go ahead and just check out those gloves that i had on my cart as well as i do put on like now i put on sunscreen um on my hands and then i put on that glove before um you guys know i do the pop-off method that's why those gloves are on now because i went ahead and put my top coat on my nails and i glued my tips down and i um well of course that goes without saying i cured the top coat um in between so that's why i still have on the gloves but um and then i'll be doing some gel later so yeah but anyway i'm just taking precaution and um like i said i'm not oblivious to it and um yeah, so that's what I do now. And if any of you are interested in the gloves, I'll leave in my um, Amazon storefront for you guys. As well as, I think, I'm not sure if it's in this video or in my next one where I showed you guys what sunscreen I use. Um, but yeah, we can never really know what the truth is. We'll never really know what the truth is. Like I said, too much of anything is not good for us. Everything in this world is not good for us because it's just like, like I said, damned if we do, damned if we don't. You know, like... The chemicals that we breathe from the nails are not good for us. Um, people smoking is not good for them. People drinking alcohol is not good for them. Uh, these phones in our hands are not good for us. Um, shoot, the air that we breathe is not good for us. Like, it's so many different things of this world that's not good for us. And we all get to pick and choose our vices. I personally don't drink or smoke. And, you know, some people will be like, well, I don't drink or smoke. And, you know, like, try to shame other people for what they do for different things but we all have our vices like i can't get away from sweets you know what i'm saying like i can't stop eating cheese like we all have our vices we all have things that we do that's not so good um not one sin is not greater than the other um and i don't know how to preach to y'all but i just thought i'd bring that up for y'all because i could be sitting here all day preaching okay um anyway i just wanted to bring that to y'all attention who knows how true it is or how harmful it really can be or whatever we just got to take our precautions and as long as we're not hurting nobody okay anyways moving on um some of you may know in my previous video it's been a while it's been like a week something like that and i do miss y'all but anyway um in my previous video i told you all or i was answering some q a questions i told you guys to ask me some and i was answering some of them and i told you guys that i would get to the rest of them in my upcoming video so i'll be answering some of those q a questions in this video but for now i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys enjoy this application and pop back in in a moment
all right y'all so that is the nude part of the application and next i'm gonna go in on the two stiletto nails with this clear i have the crystal clear from nail house and i'm on my last little corner y'all i'm on the last little bit but well in this video that is um i did go ahead and order some me secret off amazon for it to come quickly because i needed it y'all so i do have that now and anyway i'm gonna be using this nail house clear for these two stiletto nails and in the meantime before we finish these and get into shaping um i'm going to be answering some of those q a questions i told you guys about so first one we have today is um oh and you guys also said you didn't mind me saying y'all name so this one's from Brittany upshaw and she says how did you start your nail journey she has a few on one how did you start your nail journey what advice do you have for a beginner that wants to get their nail licenses but is a single parent and what could you add to monomer to lessen the smell for someone that doesn't like the smell? All right. So first of all, hey, Brittany girl. And thank you for your question. Um, how did I start my nail journey? I started my nail journey. Well, it depends. It depends because like I told you guys before in one of my videos where I explained my journey that um, when I first kind of like quote unquote, quote unquote started, um, it was around when I was like, i'd say like 17 18 years old and i was kind of just playing around with acrylic like i just wanted to try it out like i think i had some kiss kit from like cvs or something like that and i just wanted to try it out one time and after that i probably didn't do it or play with acrylic for like another year or so another year or two maybe something like that like another year um and i just kind of did a set you know just to see if i could you know see what i could do you know what i'm saying I, I didn't take it serious until like I would say year of 2000, I'd say like 2020, 21, something like that. I didn't start taking it serious and I, um, and I like did it here and there, like every few times out of the year. And then I didn't get consistent with it until I started my YouTube channel, which was, um, march of 2021 that is when i became um a little bit more serious about it and then i was consistent around like last year i started being consistent and doing sets every single day however when i started and a tip that i will give for you you all who are beginning um is to not go splurge and spend all our money on products that aren't necessary as far as like high-end products and a bunch of acrylics when you are starting you just want to get the basics down like your application um your shaping and all you need for that is like a couple of nude powders and a couple of clears or a uh, one clear <laughs> um and then like some nail tips and all of that i do have a video on that um a super old video maybe i should do an updated one maybe i should definitely do an updated one on the things you need as a beginner like all the nail supplies but i do have one of those um videos on my channel you guys can search for it probably in my playlist of my one-on-one -on -one beginners you can find it there um we're just can find it on my uh page period but um yes i recommend that you don't go spending all your money and blowing your money on these high-end fancy products and all of these nail art stuff don't do that because as i said you want to in the beginning just get the basics down as far as your application application is very important you want to get that down first before you go you know blowing our money on stuff that you don't really need in the beginning um that is my tip and then also in the beginning as i told you guys before this too recently i told you guys when i first started i didn't i couldn't afford like colored acrylics and a, a bunch of those type of things so what i did was i bought some little what are those called like some little pastel chalk things and i made my own colored acrylic um and yeah like you just gotta work with what you have and just get a couple nudes and a clear that's all you really need in the beginning because you ain't gonna be doing too much craziness okay and if you just must have to have some, like, if you just must have um, some colored acrylics, then I do highly recommend Acrylic Creamery as well as Dynamic No Supply. They have very, very good quality. Like, those two are better quality than a lot of brands that are priced three times the amount for one acrylic jar. So yeah, I highly recommend those two. You can find Acrylic Creamery in linked in the description below. And you can just, Dynamic No Supply is a pretty popular brands apparently like i didn't know about them until like sometime recently like last year or something but they're a pretty popular brands and you can just search dynamic and you know, supply and i'm sure it'll pop right up um they're located in houston but anyway yes that is how i started my nail journey 
back in like 2020 ish 2021 something like that um i kind of just got some me secret clear and some news off amazon i started practicing on this fake little amazon hand that i got like you know i don't know that little practice that little plastic um practice hand from amazon i started on that practice on myself and then eventually i made my youtube channel and i and it just went from there um and then your second question was something like okay i'm back i'm back to the question now um what advice do you have for a beginner that wants to get their nail licenses but is a single parent um i would say because okay so no school okay first of all i don't have my license but i do know that they offer part-time um and full-time i would suggest maybe checking something out part-time where you don't have to be there like for super long hours however it will take you longer to get your required hours if you are going part-time and then maybe have like a babysitter or something like that um in the meantime um yeah i know that can be hard and again like like i always say shout out to all y'all moms out there i don't have children myself um i'm 22 i don't have children and um Oh, okay, so right here is where I'm showing y'all, sorry, off topic real quick. Well, not off topic, but intermission. Um, right here are, are the two sunscreens that I have and that I use or, or use on my hand and then I put on my gloves. So when I put it in the lamp, um, my hands are protected. <laughs> I did that with the quote, but yeah, anyway. What I was saying was, shout out to y'all moms. I couldn't imagine having children right now. And I, I know a lot of y'all be um, trying to make it do what it do. And y'all are like super women. Like the ones who actually, you know what I'm saying, do stuff. Y'all are like super women. And big up to y'all because I know it could be tough. And yeah, so I do recommend trying to find something part-time. Um, yeah. And then your last question was... Oh, about the monomer smell so i don't really add anything to my mo uh, monomer anymore i used to use the chisel drops um but all of the drops they only work for a certain amount of time and then only so much like they don't like magically disappear the smell like they don't magically evaporate the smell if that makes sense like you can still smell it but kind of not so much and then you can still smell it uh, definitely like once the monomer hits your paper towel because the the little drops the little neutralizer drops are in the dish and not on the paper towel that makes sense so um getting around the smell like completely is like that's not um realistic however some things that i do to help is um one i like candles two i open my windows three i have an air purifier that is in my amazon storefront very inexpensive it was like a hundred dollars um very inexpensive opposed to ones that are way more than that um and it works okay like it works pretty good and then the last thing that i do is i dispose of my paper towels like immediately when i'm done with them in a glass jar with a, a mason jar with a lid on them um so that that smell does not linger if you have not tried the jar trick um i do highly recommend it it works like a charm because that smell can linger if you have your paper towels just sitting in the trash next to you or in the house somewhere whatever um it can linger still so those three things that i do really really help i like candles candles smell so good so they kind of help with you know like um like um what am i trying to say diluting the smell a little bit like disguising it a little bit um as well as i dispose of my paper towels in a mason jar again and i open my windows for a little bit of ventilation oh and my air purifier so yeah those are some tips that i recommend anyway as you guys can see i have already shaped and filed the nails right now i am beginning to buff them and then i'm gonna clean them off and all that y'all know the drill and then i'm gonna get into the design Okay, y'all, so I'm going to go in with this gel polish right here that I got from Amazon in a kit, or not a kit, a set of um, reflective gels. This one here is a silver one, and I don't know if it's in my Amazon storefront. However, you guys want me to leave the set of reflective gels in my Amazon storefront, let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, I'm going in on my middle finger, those two so that I don't know, with this gel here because I am going to be doing full bling on them both, and you guys know that i like to use bling or not bling glitter underneath my bling nail so that it can um make the nail really pretty and you can't see like 
it just makes the bling kind of pops if that makes sense like it's, it will not like look the same had I just left it with no glitter underneath. I tried to put some type of glitter underneath that matches the bling that I'm going to be using. Um, in this particular case, I'm going to be using a few different colors. So I just went with a silver one, like a silver um, iridescent one or whatever. So yeah, that's what I'm doing now. And I'm doing two two coats of those. I think I only did two coats of this gel here. Um, cured them for 60 seconds. And then after that, I'm going to move on with polishing the remaining nails and i'm going to be using nail houses pepto well, not pepto it's nail houses fun girl it's this pink gel polish that you guys are going to see um i'm going to be doing that on the remaining nails okay so before getting into the next q a question um i want to tell you guys that you guys did see me you guys will see me pull out this uh okay here we are um i have this baby pink gel polish from nail house and i did start off with this one on the index fingernail however once i cured it and i saw it i didn't think it was like um dark enough like it was a little lighter pink so i wanted to go in with a different pink which is why i used again fun girl I switched to Fun Girl from Nail House instead, which you guys will see me do. Um, yeah, but I won't say that. Anyways, getting into our next Q&A question. This one's from Uniquely One Creations. She says, hi, Portia, or whoever. I won't say she because it could be anyone. Their name is just Uniquely One Creations. But anyway, says, hi, Portia. Love your videos. Thank you. Is creating content videos um, for YouTube your full-time job? And if so, exactly how exactly or about how long i think she mean does this process take what's your favorite food and what do you like or enjoy doing as well besides nails much blessings okay thank you and um okay so i answered this question and my, i think i answered it in my last video or something like that i don't know anyway um youtube doing youtube and creating content is like the only thing that i do right now um and it takes as long as you want it to like whatever you're doing if you decide you don't want to do it anymore you can it's up to you and what you got going on like there's no specific time limit or whatever on what it is that you want to do with your life um yeah it's pretty much you know whatever you feel appropriate for you and your situation and your life um there's no one size fit all to you know this here um my favorite food macaroni i love macaroni so much well forever i love cheese y'all i can't get away from cheese like y'all i'm like a pescatarian vegetarian most times i only eat fish like a few times a year however um i'm addicted to cheese and i can't stop eating it <laughs> that sounds really bad but like i said we all have our vices um and yeah macaroni is my favorite food i love cheese um what else do i enjoy to do besides nails um i answered this too in my last video it's not much at all like i feel like nails is um pretty much the thing that i don't want to say consumes me but it's like my favorite thing to do it doesn't feel like a job to me so it's my favorite thing to do and outside of that i don't have much that i like to do outside of that <laughs> all right the next question we have is from jennifer ingram aka Jalen nails hey jennifer girl <laughs> her name is pretty long but hey girl um she says portia where do you see yourself in five years love um i never really like ugh, i don't know cared for that question i guess um you know because it's it's kind of like the way i feel about that question is like you know me five years ago i wouldn't i wouldn't have imagined i'll be here today like five years ago um Although I'm not like the, I'm not like so well off or anything like that. Um, I am blessed to even just, you know, be alive. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just blessed. And yeah, I didn't see myself five years, five years ago. How old was I five years ago? Five years ago, I was 17 years old and I was just graduating high school. Um, I didn't see myself here um, five years ago so it you never can you never really know and i don't really like answering that question I'll, I'll be wherever god takes me um however a few goals that i do have um that will probably that will probably um come into fruition in the next five years is having my own nail supply um let's see what else 
I will certainly be licensed well before five years from now. Um, although I may not take clients, like it's a thing I go back and forth with all the time. Um, for the longest I wanted to take clients, but then I'm like, nah, I'm good. I don't want to take clients, but I do want the experience of it just for like, even if it was a couple months or so, something like that. Um, but yeah, I'm completely self-taught. Without... Sorry, my timer had cut me off and I'm not redoing that. <laughs> but anyway, yes, I'm completely self-taught a thousand percent. And, um... And I never really like, um, well, not, I won't say never, but I've come to the conclusion that I probably will never take clients because I don't really want to. Um, so I wouldn't get my nail license, but I'm debating it. I, I debate it every now and then. So it's something that I do want to do, whether I take clients or not. Um, okay, so real quick before I continue, as you guys can see, I went ahead and I put that pink gel on all of those nails i cured it and then i applied it to matte top coat and now i'm going in i'm creating this xoxo design um i have to pop it up on the screen where i got the inspo from but i got the inspo from one of my clients that i made a press on set for she uh sent me this design and it was i gotta pop it up on the screen the picture she had sent me however um because I can't remember who it's from, but I'm going to be doing this XOXO design with some hearts and I'm going to be pouring clear acrylic over top to make it like 3D looking. And I'm doing that with the same exact color that I used for the base of the nails, which was again, Nail House's Fun Pink, or not Fun Pink, Fun Girl Gel Polish. Um, okay, and then I'm, and back to answering that question, um, or finish answering that question. And I just, I just see myself at peace and, um, and healthy, okay? I'm, cause you know, you gotta be careful with your words, um, and what you speak into, um, existence. So that's pretty much what I want to accomplish. Um, just like a small amount of what I want to accomplish. I just give y'all a little bit. <laughs> uh, let's go to the next question. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so next one is from Diana. I'm thinking that's her name, Diana Kiera or Kira. See, that's the thing with names. You don't really know how they're pronounced and you don't want to butcher them, but I think her name is that, Diana Kiera. Um, she says, okay, I have one I have asked on Zule's channel because she was drilling down to the clear acrylic and she added her tips. Can you glue tips to the clear or to the acrylic instead of filing completely off or soaking a filling is one thing but she clipped and filed down then added her tip i tried the other day and i couldn't get it to stick hmm. um i have seen people do that i've never personally done that before however people do do that and you don't have to completely take the acrylic off the nail i think i'm thinking she did that because she didn't want to like completely remove it because she does add clear acrylic um like in general to the base of her nails before going in with her color simply because she you know most people don't want to stain their nails as well as um clear acrylic is the strongest acrylic because it doesn't have any pigment in it um and it helps with lifting so i'm sure that she didn't file it all the way off because she was going to add it again anyway and sometimes people don't want to add them off because they change their nails often like zule does and she doesn't want to damage her nail so um like i said i've never done it before but she does it a lot and a lot of people does too i'm sure and i would say maybe yours didn't stick I i'm not sure why it didn't stick i'm sorry but you can do that um yeah <laughs> also too with that of course you want to make sure that that acrylic that you are keeping on the nail isn't lifting because then it'll cause your whole nails to lift but yeah um you can do that i've never done it but you can definitely do that um next question is from izzy nails underscore on two um hey izzy girl <laughs> She says, hey, Portia, do you think you can do a video showing how to edit videos? I have a video on my channel. Um, you can, I think it's in 101, my playlist on 101, how to for beginners. I think it's there, how to edit on iMovie. Are we talking about like YouTube videos or are you talking about like, like regular videos? I just use like, um, which one do I use? Video Leap. I just, I don't do anything special. I just kind of cut the videos that I want. I mean, cut it. Like, I literally just put in the clips that I took of my nails. And that's pretty much it. Like, I put them together. And I just cut out the parts where I don't want it. Like, parts that I don't want. If that makes sense. Like, it's nothing special. I don't add any special effects. I don't add, like, 
filters or anything like that to my videos i don't do none of that so yeah i just use video leap and you can also use instagram reels or whatever it is whatever platform you're gonna be posting the video on you can use those as well to edit but i just like to add a mine's previous like prior to doing that and then post it yeah it's nothing special to it at all it's very simple our next question is from nisha willis she says, I've learned so much from watching your channel that I started creating my own press-ons. Oh, yay for you, girl. Um, what do you think is the best gel top coat polish? The one I'm using now is not shiny like I wish. Thank you for your creativity. Ah, uh, thanks, Nisha. Thank you. Um, so I used to use acrylic creameries, uh, diamond top coat and matte top coat, but they no longer sell it. Um, I'm not sure she'll ever bring it back either. But my favorite top coat now is Zule's top coat. I really like her top coat, her Tuffin top coat. Very, very shiny. And it's my favorite one. Um, and you can find the link to her site in the description below. Um, our next question is from Sharon Hutcherson. Hutcherson? Yeah, I said that right. <laughs> hey, hey, Sharon girl. She says, when doing short nails, is it hard? I know you always do long. I have a problem with shaping. Or I have a problem shaping. I've seen the video. It, I think I'm holding my file wrong. You can say my name. I don't care. Thank you in advance. I love you. You do a beautiful job always. Thank you, Sharon, girl. Um, I don't do short nails often. I think I've done short nails like, mm, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I may have done short nails like one other time. And as a matter of fact, if you guys want me to, I can do a video doing some short nails. Um, we can see how it goes together because I don't do short nails ever. So I'm down for doing that with y'all or for y'all. Um, to my knowledge, I guess it can be hard doing short nails because it's a smaller surface area to work with. Um, and it's just much different. Like, um, But like I said, I can, I can do a short set for you guys. I've been wanting to do one anyway because I think they're pretty cute and I don't do short often. And some of you guys be asking for it. So yeah and with your shaping yeah that shaping video is very helpful um what is it exactly sharon if you are seeing this what is it exactly that you have a problem with like let me know in the comment section below okay our next question is from nato b hi nato b she says portia may you do a set of lava lamp nails please Ooh, that would be cute how how would lava, lava lamp nails look that would be cute huh I think I've probably seen one set before, but I'm not sure. We shall see. Um, the next one is, oh, she has another one. May we get a nail desk tour? Like, how do you keep things organized? Um, maybe I'll do a tour for y'all when I get into this new space. Maybe I'll do a tour then. I'm not promising anything right now. <laughs> um, how long did it take? Oh, sorry, I didn't even say the name. Oh, wait, I just missed one. Next one is from Slay CJ. Um, she says, how do you deal with keeping your schedule balanced and your motivation on point? Um, I don't have much to balance. Like, I don't have, like, um, children or anything outside of what it is that I do. So, I don't have too much to balance. And, honestly, I love what I do. So, it's like, um, y'all ever seen that? Y'all ever seen that um, little video that was, like, I quit my 9 to 5. And now I'm a full-time um, entrepreneur and I work 24-7. Um, and then they go like, <laughs> and then they say the F word. <laughs> Yo, that video is so funny because it's so true. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I kind of just wake up and get to it every single day. Sometimes I can work all day long and I don't have any obligations to nothing else. Like I don't have children or anything like that. So yeah, and I love what I do. So I be at it like all day. And, you know, of course, I stop sometimes, take a break to eat, barely sometimes. Um, and then I resume the next day doing the same thing. So, I don't really know. Like, I would say, like, um, I would say set a, set a designated time, like, enough time apart, like, aside for you to do whatever it is that you want to do or if you want to do nails or whatever um, for that. And... Yeah, if you love what you do, there's no need for, like, um, that's a motivation enough if you love what you do. Um, all right, so right now, y'all, right now in the video, I am applying bling to these nails, y'all. So I told y'all I'm going to be doing the two stiletto nails full bling, and I'm going to be using some CM crystals, some rose crystals, and some just regular AB crystals. And I'm going to be filling it up 
with all these different sizes um and i don't really do full bling nails like this i always like include shapes and i honestly like the way that shapes look better um like including shapes in my full bling nails however i didn't include them this time i just wanted to do full bling like with the round ones so yeah nonetheless it still came out cute but that is what i'm doing right now and of course i am using my zule bling adhesive and also to finish up answering that last question um i know that a lot of people look forward to my content and i inspire a lot of people and you know that enough that in itself is enough to motivate me you know what i'm saying like i could be gone for a while and people are like where are you you know what i'm saying people look you know for my content and i inspire a lot of people and um a lot of people learn from me so you know i can't just disappear like that i can't disappear and i just love what i do so i hope that answer your question when you have a purpose in this life and when you have goals and um you're impactful to people you don't want to stop that you never want to stop that when you have a gift and you are providing a service to people um yeah i can't stop and i don't i'm not i'm never um unmotivated i have to keep going i have to keep going um not really i'm not i could be like depressed sometimes but it's never about like my nails or anything like that like i'm always down to do some nails always and make some content for you all anyway so the next one is from uh the next one is from indusia marie i hope i'm saying her name right indusia marie how long did it take you to feel confident enough to start taking clients how long was your beginner phase and how often did you practice um in and to see it, I don't take clients. However, I did, though, at a point. Like, I probably took, like, three clients ever. Um, and it took me a, a little while to get confident enough. I did, like, practice on myself um, a little bit before I started taking clients, as well as on my sister. And uh, my nails always lasted me a pretty long time. I used to always wear my nails for... They always lasted with no lifting for um, minimum a month and with no lifting or anything like that so that kind of gave me a confident boost to you know do others um and like you know i worked on my shape and i worked on my designs and stuff like that and sometimes you just gotta go for it you know what i'm saying people ask me all the time and yeah i was scared but you know um i did build up my confidence with knowing that my nails last to me um to go ahead and start taking a couple of clients but i only took like three ever and i never did it again because i was a tr i was traveling and um I didn't have my license and I just wasn't and then you know life happens but anyway um yeah so it was a, a while before she said how long was your beginner phase it was a while before I even took my first one it was a while um I would say a year maybe something like that because I was into doing my nails and I got to the point where I my nails lasted me for like like I said, a month minimum. So I was probably like a year in, something like that. A year, a little less than a year, something like that. Um, and how often do I practice? I didn't, when I first started taking clients, I didn't practice it often at all. I just started practicing like every day, um, every few days, like very consistent um, recently. Like last year, I just started practicing like consistently instead of doing like one set um, every month or one, uh, like four sets every um year or something like that i started practicing consistently like a year ago um doing a minimum of maybe like two sets per week three sets three sets per week and now i'm up to like i do like five sets per week something like that um yeah all right and these remaining questions i'm looking in this video to find because um that was kind of the ones from the post that i made but I'm looking for the remainder in this video here, and it looks like there are only a few more. So, the next one we have is from Felicia James. She says, do you use gel before applying your tips? If so, what kind? Yes, I use gel because I do the pop-off method where um, I pop my nails off right after. And in order to do that, I use gel first, and I just use regular old gel top coat. Like, the one, like regular gel top coat. All right, and then this next one is from Toy. Hey, Toy Girl. Her name is Juan's wife, Toy. Um, her Q and A question is: Can you show your? Can you show us your candle collection and your nail area? Thank you. When is my candle collection? Um, you know what? I don't have like a lot of, of them anymore. They're probably they're pretty much all gone. However, um, when I first got my collection from, I love some Bath and Body Works candles, but 
I get regular old candles too, but however, um, I did film that. If you want to see that, do you want to see that video? Like, I have to go find it and edit it. It's like super long ago, like maybe a year ago. I had, um, I had filmed me unboxing uh, a bunch of candles from there. If you want me to post that, I can. Um, as well as I did answer that second question, the nail area. Um, I mean, I don't see why not. I can't why I can't show y'all my nail area. However, um, I will be having a different space soon. So maybe y'all can wait until that video. Coming soon. Okay, so right now I am um I'm just applying some little rhinestones um in between these this design here on these nails. Just kind of randomly those same colors that I did on the two stiletto nails in the middle. And how cute are those anyway? Um super cute but i don't think there's any more q a questions i don't think i see any more here okay so i did end up finding a few more it was like maybe three or four more that i will answer in the next video and yeah i'm gonna let you guys finish watching me you know place these rhinestones on these nails and then um i'm gonna insert my final results All right, y'all, here are my final results. I'm loving these nails so much. They are so pretty. And those stiletto nails are stiletto in and that bling is blinging, okay? <laughs> I love them. And if you guys enjoyed this video and love these nails as much as I do, go ahead and give the girl a thumbs up. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you want to see more Valentine's sets coming, go ahead and subscribe to your girl and turn on those bell notifications so you're notified each and every single time I drop a new video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.